Chapter 1033, One Thought to Become Buddha. The scene turned quiet as the crowd stared at Li Kai with fear, a practitioner who still had his hair as well as an unfathomable dharma. Such a person was even more dreadful than unstoppable geniuses, capable of enlightening beings as well as of doing evil. A virtuous paragon gently sighed, This person is capable of defeating the radiant Bodhisattva. Just how frightening is his dharma? If he enters this world, it will set off many waves. The first reaction of many people to this paragon's comment was to look at Ji Kong Wudi's group. At this time, Ji Kong Wudi, Zan Shi, and Heavenly Emperor Lin looked quite alarmed, especially Zan Shi. He knew just how frightening the monks inside the four Buddha's temple were, let alone its Bodhisattva. But now, this nameless monk was actually able to defeat the Bodhisattva. It was easy to imagine just how profound his dharma was. Prior to this, the group probably thought that since they had strong Tao hearts, they were still confident in competing against this practitioner for the heaven's will. However, after seeing his ability, the group became quite apprehensive. They realized the dharma was more terrifying than they expected. Buzz. At this point, the mortal king's body emitted a bright light. These bright waves made it seem like he was a god oppressing this world. Each ray was profoundly heavy. He activated the mighty power of his immortal physique. All of the universal laws protected his Tao heart. At this second, even someone as great as him couldn't afford to be careless and was readying his defense. Fellow Taoist, you are going against the natural order. The mortal king came forward and spoke gravely towards Li Kai. Li Kai lazily looked at him and responded, I'll go against the natural order and it's none of your business. Come bite me if you don't like it. Li Kai's current appearance dazzled everyone since he was emanating a Buddhist light and accompanied by all the other visual phenomena. No matter how one looked at it, Li Kai resembled either an Arhat or Bajshiva. However, his vulgar words completely contradicted his holy appearance. His words sounded at home in a street market. This attitude was completely different to when he was subduing his foes. Is this what a sacred monk looks like? Someone became slack-jawed from the ridiculousness of the situation. This is a dharma in accordance with one's heart. A monk who truly understood Buddhism murmured, This is the legendary one thought to become Buddha, another to become devil. He has reached a level beyond our grasp. If he were to stay back at Spirit Mountain, he would definitely become the next Buddhist lord. Even the mortal king was jolted for a second. He was ready to fight against the terrifying dharma, but he didn't expect Li Kai to speak like a thug. This contrast was a little too exaggerated in his eyes. I am the jewel pillar mortal king. I wish to try your supreme dharma. He shouted and emitted a frightening aura capable of suppressing the heavens. At this moment, his physique had erupted to its maximum level. The immortal physique is quite frightening. The crowd shivered at the physique's might. Am I Tebha? Excellent. Excellent. Li Kai's Buddhist light lit up as well and illuminated the area. He spewed out mantras and affected the location with his own rhythm. Thump. 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 The mortal king immediately took several steps back and shattered the ground below him after the mantra came out. The light on his body was actually being tinted with a Buddhist shade. Conversion. Someone shouted while countless others trembled after seeing this. The mortal king didn't say another word and immediately disappeared into the horizon. His speed was extremely fast. It seemed that he made his decision in a split second. You dared to challenge me at such a level. Li Kai shook his head and smiled. He dispersed his light and all the phenomena disappeared along with it. His appearance at this moment didn't resemble a venerable monk at all, let alone someone who could convert others with just one phrase. The crowd couldn't be any quieter. One could even hear the sound of a needle dropping. The mortal king instantly lost after a quick exchange. This was too scary. In the present times, the mortal king along with Zan Shi, Ji Kong Wudi, and Heavenly Emperor Lin were famous. Though the mortal king's talents were worse than his peers, he firmly took each of his steps and eventually reached his current level. His accomplishments were paved by one battle after another. Even if his Tao heart was not as firm as Zan Shi's, it was still very formidable. He had experienced defeats and victories so he wasn't so easily deterred. However, he had to immediately escape at the start of the fight. Without a doubt, he couldn't handle Li Kai's unbearable power of conversion. Challenging the Dharma at the Buddhist funeral plateau. In the faraway Buddhist city, a young man gazed into the distance. It was South Emperor who wowed the world with a single battle. He shook his head and continued to say, What an unwise decision. The Dharma is invincible here at the plateau. Even an immortal emperor wouldn't want to compete in a Dharma contest. One thought to become Buddha, another to become devil. The juniors can't grasp the real terror behind this. Eventually, he smiled and entered the Buddhist city. Many people who entered the plateau had heard of God kings being converted with just one phrase. However, they considered it to be a mere exaggeration. Not enough to reach the apex. However, after seeing Li Kai defeat the mortal king with just one phrase, they understood that there was a real chance that it was true. So terrifying. A young genius took a deep breath and murmured, Will we even have a chance to attack such a person? He can defeat us by just opening his mouth. Ordinary geniuses wouldn't dare to challenge such a terrifying person when even the mortal king had to run away after one phrase. Brother Zan, can you withstand his Buddhist mantra? A saint child from the great sect couldn't resist asking Zan Chi. The crowd quickly glanced over at Zan Chi after hearing this question. He was the only one who participated in the scripture hark back at the four Buddhas temple. They also wanted to know the extent of its terror. Zan Shi didn't answer this question. He only stared at Li Kai with a profound glare. On the other side, Ji Kong Wudi didn't say anything either. He looked at Li Kai for a bit before leaving. He had countless methods beyond one's imagination. It could even be said that he didn't care for the mortal king. If he actually used all of his aces, he could still destroy the mortal king no matter who was behind him. Thus, he didn't consider the mortal king to be his strongest rival on his path towards becoming the immortal emperor. But today, 
He had no choice but to consider this unknown monk as his greatest obstacle. A spirited glimmer flashed in Heavenly Emperor Lin's eyes. He gently sighed and murmured to himself. One thought to become Buddha, another to become devil. This is too amazing. Who can oppose him at the Buddhist funeral plateau? Li Kai ignored the crowd and waved at Wo Long Sul. They headed for the Buddhist city afterward. Others noticed that nothing else was going on, so they dispersed as well. Some went to other temples. Others left the plateau, and the group headed for the Buddhist city. The Buddhist city was the largest city in the plateau. It was very prosperous and was occupied by many races. There were mortals, cultivators, monks, humans, demons, and blood were everywhere as well. Some were born in the city while others came from the distant eastern hundred cities. Some came quickly and left just as quick while there were those who stayed for the rest of their life. There might not be another location in this world with a stronger Buddhist temperament in this city. There were temples everywhere. One could hear chants coming from all four directions. Even the ordinary families who weren't Buddhists still chanted the scriptures. It was a harmonious and peaceful city, full of life and prosperity. Someone once said that there wasn't another location in the nine worlds that was as peaceful as the Buddhist city for one to settle down in, though the city was quite mundane in nature. Some people thought that it was under Nalanta's jurisdiction. The temple sent Bodhisattva was here to maintain the tranquility. Li Kai and Wolong soon went right outside of the temple. He sighed while looking at the city in the distance. There were things here that made him worry. At this time, a young man could be found standing by the entrance. He had a heroic aura, even though he was under a disguise. People could still tell that he was a powerful expert. That's my junior brother. I think the reinforcements from my sect have arrived. Wo Long Sun told Li Kai after seeing the youth, after being injured, she sent out a distress call to her sect. However, the Dragon Cliff was located all the way in the north. Even if the ancestors there were very fast, they still needed a long time to reach the Buddhist funeral plateau.